Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of this design. It was done using this script, which uses a combination of different letter stems, which are these ones here, and modifiers, which are these dots and lines here. So to figure out what letter is what letter, you need to figure out how many dots and or lines it has, and then we figure out what stem it's on. So let's start at the bottom of our word and go counterclockwise. Because you read the script like a time traveler going back in time, we start at the bottom and go counterclockwise. So here we have our sentence circle with all of these fancy extra divots, which are just on the sentence circle and don't count for anything in the word itself. They just fill up the empty space. And then our word circle is here. So this is the bottom of it, and this is our first set of letters. So we have our first letter stem, which is this deep divot, like a horseshoe shape. So like this. And then there's one line ending on it, so that makes it a G. And then we have a vowel. If there's a vowel and a consonant in the same position, you read the consonant first and then the vowel second. So that A is outside the word circle, like that, that little golden one. And this line going through is just the line from the U and not part of the A. So here's the A, G, A, and then we continue around. Here's our next set of letters. There is a double line, and because it's a double line, that means it's a double letter. And this has one, two, three dots, and is a circle inside the word circle. So three dots, circle inside the word circle, means it's a double L. And then we have an I with a line going towards the middle of the word circle. That's what I, I is like E, but with a line in, going towards the middle. So that is an I. And then we have this other horseshoe-shaped deep divot, like this one, except it has these lines right here. So even though this is just one line, because it ends here and it ends here, it counts twice. So if we count up every time a line ends on it, we have one, two, three lines. So that makes it an F. And then we have a shallow divot with one, two, three dots, making it an R, an E on the line of the word circle like that, and then one, two dots closest to this Y right here. So G-A-L-L-I-F-R-E-Y is how you spell Gallifrey. So yeah, I hope you like it. Bye.